I declare bankruptcy! Bankruptcy, a term usually associated with financial devastation, has a different face when it comes to millionaires and billionaires. While the headlines may tell tales of financial troubles, none of these stories seem to conclude with these individuals giving up their mansions and taking on minimum wage jobs. Rappers, boxers, and even former presidents all have experienced financial turbulence at some point. Yet, to the casual observer, it's business as usual for them, or sometimes even better. When you think of bankruptcy, you might conjure images of losing your home, car, and financial prospects. Bankruptcy is widely considered the ultimate symbol of business and financial failure. For most of us, that's exactly what it means. But for the rich, it doesn't necessarily mean the end. On the contrary, the wealthy tend to stay rich even after bankruptcy, in many cases. Consider the case of Jordan Belfort, the infamous Wolf of Wall Street. He was forced into bankruptcy due to the criminal nature of his fortunes, yet he continues to live a life most of us could only dream of, giving us a glimpse into how the wealthy navigate financial crises. One key strategy employed by the wealthy, exemplified by Jordan Belfort, is to let their companies go bankrupt on their behalf. A company is a separate legal entity from its owners, and the liability is usually limited to the value of shares. In Belfort's case, his notorious brokerage firm, Stratton Oakmont, went bankrupt as a result of criminal activity. Belfort served prison time for his actions, but today, he remains a prominent motivational speaker and author. Now, let's delve deeper into how this strategy revolutionizes the real estate industry. Real estate developers, in particular, have mastered the art of using bankruptcy strategically. They establish distinct LLCs for each property or development project. An LLC, Limited Liability Company, is a common choice for real estate investments because it offers a layer of protection. If a specific development project fails, it's the LLC that files for bankruptcy, not the developer personally. This means the developer's personal assets are shielded and the bankruptcy process primarily impacts the assets within that specific LLC. In the world of real estate, LLCs offer a significant advantage by separating assets and liabilities. Developers can juggle multiple projects, and if one fails, they can protect their overall wealth by limiting the impact to a specific LLC. For instance, take the story of Donald Trump. Many wondered how a man who filed for bankruptcy six times could still be a billionaire. It's a perplexing concept, especially when countless small entrepreneurs lose everything in the pursuit of greatness. Another example is the casino industry. Donald Trump, once again, utilized LLCs for his casinos. When one of his Atlantic City casinos faced financial troubles, he didn't have to file for personal bankruptcy. Instead, the LLC associated with that casino did, protecting Trump's personal wealth while allowing him to renegotiate terms with creditors. Bankruptcy comes in various chapters. Chapter 11 is the preferred choice for the rich. It allows for the reorganization of assets and liabilities, acting as a mediator to negotiate new deals between debtors and creditors. This creative use of corporate structures isn't the only way that multimillionaires and billionaires spin bankruptcy to their advantage. Even when they personally have to declare bankruptcy, they still have a significant advantage over regular people. That's because there are not just one, but six different types of bankruptcy. For most common people, Chapter 7 is the type they are most likely to fall into. It's often seen as a monopoly-style bankruptcy. A court appoints a trustee to your case to liquidate all of your assets and use the proceeds from those sales to pay back your creditors. Trustees will usually, but not always, leave those filing for bankruptcy with some essentials, like their car and their home, though this is not guaranteed. If these assets are considered luxuries beyond providing basic needs, a Chapter 7 bankruptcy won't protect them from foreclosure or repossession. Complex bankruptcies can take months of negotiating, and legal fees can run into the hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. But for those who can afford it, Chapter 11 can be a savvy financial move, often resulting in better negotiated terms than before the filing and allowing individuals filing for bankruptcy to come out better off under the newly negotiated conditions. So, as I mentioned earlier, there are four additional types of bankruptcy 
but those are very narrow in focus. For example, Chapter 9, Bankruptcy only applies to municipalities going bankrupt, which is not particularly useful unless you happen to be the mayor. In conclusion, bankruptcy is a complex game with different rules for the wealthy. As for the various types of bankruptcy, they serve to specific situations, and understanding how they work can be a game changer in the world of finance. Thank you for joining us on The Money Game today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like as a small token of appreciation. If you're fascinated by the thrilling world of finance, want to uncover the secrets of money, then this is the channel for you. Don't miss out on the next episode of The Money Game, where knowledge is power and money is just a play away. Subscribe and level up your financial game today.